There are many types of ocean circulations that move the Earth's waters from one place to another. Thermohaline circulation drives the mixing of the surface water and deep water. This process is crucial for moving heat and nutrients around the globe. Thermohaline circulation appears to be driven by surface waters that contain unusually large amounts of salt. These ocean currents are the reason for the highly productive ecosystems that are present all around the world. For example, warm waters move all the way from the South Atlantic and the Gulf of Mexico to the very cold North Atlantic. Some of this water freezes or evaporates, and the water left behind is highly concentrated in salt. This cold, salty water is relatively dense, so it sinks to the bottom of the ocean, mixing with deeper ocean waters. The sinking of cold, salty water at high latitudes and the rising of warm water near the equator create the movement necessary to drive a deep, cold current that slowly moves northward all around the world back to the area in and near the Gulf of Mexico. These waters travel all around the world for hundreds of years to complete one full cycle. Thus, thermohaline circulation mixes all the waters of the oceans. These ocean currents occurring affect the temperature of nearby land masses, such as much as major gyres affect surface waters. Movement of warm waters bring warmer temperatures where it goes, and vice versa. For this reason, some parts of the world, even at the same latitude, can have very different climates year-round, such as England and Newfoundland, Canada. Unfortunately, global warming could severely affect thermohaline circulation because accelerated melting of glaciers in the northern hemisphere can make the waters less salty and likely to sink. This change has the potential to stop circulation and stop the movement of warm waters from the south to places like Western Europe which would make it much much colder.